I tell the students all the time, I said, I'm not asking you to do anything that something that wasn't asked of me. I sat in that same chair that you did. I was in the same classroom. I mean, so I know the feeling, I know what it takes, and I know how to get you there myself now being on this side of the fence. So all National Guard and Reserve soldiers throughout, not only the state of Virginia, but throughout the nation as a whole, whether do they come here to reclass, to become a, the newest members of the Transportation Corps. I've been in the National Guard for 10 years as a mechanic, and I thought that this would be a great opportunity for me to switch my MOS. And so what we're doing is we're learning how to drive various different military vehicles, um, how they operate and things like that. And we're, our instructors are great instructors and they are teaching us how to operate them in a safe way. They, when they first get here, they're kind of intimidated by, you know, a lot of people have never drove tractor trailer or combina combination vehicles at all. But with proper instruction, by the time they graduate, they'll be certified to drive those trucks, as well as have a lot of knowledge to take back to the unit to pass on to the new soldier. One of the courses that we did while we are here at truck school is the IED lanes. We learn the basic skills and knowledge on how to detect an IED while we're driving down the road. Our instructors make sure we're very motivated. We have a great class. Um, they are eager to learn because we, you know, we want to make sure that we do everything safe and um, the right way the first time. They're really tracking well, doing an outstanding job. They're motivated. Dealing with some of this Fort Pickett weather, that's not always the easiest thing to, to be. <laughs> So, but they, they dig down, they find it somewhere, and they come out there, they execute, they make it happen. So, up until this point, they, they made me extremely proud.